Well, we begin tonight with major new developments following the Oxford High School shooting. We want to welcome you to 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. The family of Madison Baldwin now filing a federal civil rights lawsuit against the district and school employees. Attorneys for the family say the November shooting was both predictable and preventable. Baldwin and three other students were killed. Now the tragedy leading to an emotional controversy in Oxford. Students are planning a peaceful event Saturday, but it's already becoming political. It's been six months since the mass shooting inside Oxford High School that left four dead and seven injured. The school shooting is among many others in America that have claimed at least 169 lives. Students nationwide and in Metro Detroit have demanded safer schools and gun law reform. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner has followed the tragedy in Oxford since it happened. Now he shows us how emotion is boiling over. The Saturday event was organized by a group of Oxford students and a parent, then a national group joined in. Our team's very passionate about it. We've been working for several months kind of in the dark, working through it until we believed we were ready to launch. We will be having speakers and a small sort of rally at Centennial Park, and then we will be marching and walking up to the high school to have a moment of silence and then back down to conclude our march. She's in the local group called No Future Without Today. A national group called March for Our Lives is holding rallies on Saturday across the country, now including Oxford, Waterford, Detroit, and others. The talking points for the rallies include proposed safe gun storage laws, red flag gun laws, universal background checks. The politics boiling over for many at last night's Oxford Village Council, a special meeting held to approve the students' event. We don't have a gun problem, in my opinion, humble opinion. What we do have is a serious people problem. I would much rather see them do it on their own as opposed to with this organization. Some spoke out for free speech There's for the students. You need to let this happen and make it work. We heard from everybody during public comment and now it's time. There was a question about the event needing to have liability insurance, but the village council voted to allow the event without it. Morjo? Yes. Cook? Yes. Ross? Yes. That prompted one woman to respond. This is to advise you that on June 11th there will be a counter rally at the location. We caught up with her today at her home. She declined an on-camera interview. I said my piece last night. But okay. what did she mean there would be another group taking on the students? Well, when you said there was going to be a counter-protest, mm -hmm. where did that come from? Emotion. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you don't think we were... there will be now? Oh, is that well, what I you're have saying? no idea. This is a peaceful protest. This is, I mean, what good would it do for it to not be peaceful? We're asking for peace in our schools, peace in our, in our lives. A couple of people here in Oxford have been watching this buildup stopped and said to me they hope Second Amendment gun advocates don't show up here with their guns. We'll see how it plays out on Saturday. In Oxford, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Jim. Now, 7 Action News has followed this tragedy since the day it happened, and we will continue to share all updates as they come in on air and online.